Atlanta Dragway hosted the Castrol GTX Nationwide Southern Nationals. And the factory hot rods, the Pro Stockers, provided a lot of excitement. The reigning world champion, Bob Glidden, met Butch Leal in the semifinals. Glidden in the far lane, while Leal occupied the near lane of the racetrack. The start of the season had not been particularly good for Bob and Etta Glidden. But in this race, it was a close match against Butch Leal. They left the starting line together. Glidden got to the finish line first, and then problems set in. The car went out of control, rode up on top of the guardrail, and overturned numerous times. For the first time, Bob Glidden was using a funny car-style roll cage inside his Ford Thunderbird, and it probably saved his life. As the NHRA safety safari rolled onto the accident scene on the starting line, Etta Glidden was comforted by Arlene Johnson, wife of W.J. Warren Johnson, a fellow pro stock racer. As the crews converged on the race car, Bob Glidden emerged unhurt. After that horrendous accident, Bob Glidden was able to extricate himself from the car and literally walk away. It was when he crossed the finish line that disaster struck. Glidden reassured his son, Billy, that he was unhurt. Stop. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Who's oh, boy. It's a miracle to get out of that one. I, all I can do is thank the chassis builder, uh, Jerry Haas. You know, I, I don't know what happened. I felt the back of the car come up, and it went over, and I just put my arms around my head, and I was just in there riding along. I hope Etta knows that you're okay. I'm, I, I'm sure she does by now. Uh, I'm waiting for her to, to get down here. I don't... She'll surely be here before long. Again, okay, glad to see that you're okay. That just happened instantly. I don't know exactly what happened. While Glidden may have been confused about what caused the accident, he did have presence of mind as soon as he realized he was unhurt to throw a jacket over the intake manifold on the engine of his race car, hiding some of his speed secrets. His wife, Etta, arrived on the scene and also received the reassurance that he was uninjured. 